Hey everybody, Dr. Ray, and today we are talking about the Verizon Gizmo Watch 2. I'm gonna do a review. We got this for my child who, you know, runs around the neighborhood and stuff, and we just like to make sure he's in his yard or kind of know where he is. So today I'm gonna do a review, talk about the device, tell you what we like and don't like about it. You know, I was a little hesitant buying it because some of the reviews online weren't that great. So I'm gonna kind of tell you what my thoughts are about the watch for your parent considering getting this for your child. First of all, the watch costs a hundred bucks. Um, it's $99 from Verizon and then like I think we pay $10 a month plus there's like two or three dollars in tax so it's like more like 13 a month for it to have the watch um, you can see what the watch looks like there's a picture right here on their website um, it's similar to an iWatch Apple watch you know but it's a little bigger I personally don't like the look of it whatsoever as an adult however I will say that when we got it for my child who's very picky he thought it was like the coolest thing and all the neighborhood kids also think it's like the coolest thing or have one themselves so while i personally didn't like the way it looked and i think verizon needs to pick up what it does like the way it looks um the kids do like it so know that all right so what i want to do is i'm going to go in and i want to show you guys what it actually looks like when you get this thing like what does it look like um, I'll talk a little bit about the watch use too, like what the kid sees, um, but let's get into it and let me show you what you see as a parent in the app. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download an app to your phone. I use an iPhone, so I'm going to download it on my iPhone. I'm going to download the app. All right, so we are in the app. I'm going to be looking down at my phone because you can see my phone on right now. You're seeing what, oops, you're seeing what I'm seeing on my phone. So right here on the screen, and actually this isn't the default. So when you get to the default screen, yes, my son's name is, well, we call him Hunt. His name is Huntington. But you can see the default screen. It's like kind of weird that they don't just show the GPS. You have to click a little button. But so, and let me tell you something else about where I live. So first of all, where I live is a brand new neighborhood. So like you can't even, uh, and I better make sure I'm not showing my address here, but you can't like, my street doesn't show up on Google Maps or anything. So it's like, the, the device does pick up where I live. So I'm gonna click on this little uh, icon to the upper left. The icons make no sense what they look like. And the directions on Verizon's website and elsewhere on the web were pretty bad. But I'm clicking the little upper left icon, like on the map circle, huh? You can see I just pressed it, it changed color. You can see it changed color there. And that gives me actual GPS. Now you can see the, there's like a faint circle around hunt his h so the gps can give you some there's some room for error um there so what i've found so let's see so first of all let me go through all these buttons and i'll talk about like what i found and stuff as i go through so this is identifying where hunts hunt is right now and if i click on his name it'll try to tell me like his address which i'm gonna block out so you can't see where i live um but uh it can be off a little bit so the first button is this little time button here on the left. I click that and that basically allows me to go through and trace Hunt's movement each time he was tracked. Um, in the upper left, there's like this weird map location. I click it, you can see it moving right now. That is find Hunt's exact location right now. Now the watch will periodically find his location, but each time I open up the app, I press the button just to like confirm where he exactly is. The button below that, which I'm going to press right now, is actually automatic tracking. And the bad thing about that button, while I want him to be tracked 24-7, is it uses a lot of the, the watch battery. All right, now from this app, I can make phone calls. I can click the phone button and that will call Hunt. I'm not gonna, you can see in the upper left, or upper right hand corner, I'm not gonna click the call button because it'll call him right now. First of all, he's at school and the watch is downstairs. My wife will like answer it. So we're not calling him right now. Um, I can click the text button, which is right next to it. And then I can see any alerts, which it shows me. Yeah, we're not gonna show you that screen because it shows you like all the pings from my address. All right, so that's like the basic of the watch. Now, there are all kinds of things that it can do, and I'm gonna go through these options, and let me talk about the functionality of it. I can click steps. It can track his steps. I can like, do I want it to track his steps or not? He only wears the watch when he goes outside and plays, so it's completely not accurate for his steps because of that. I can click calls, and I can see all the people who called him or he called. Um, you set up who he can call 
So the only people that are calling him are like me, my wife, and we set it up with one of his friends. And maybe we set it up with his grandparents yet yeah, or not. Maybe not. The to-do list, I'm not going to click on that because we don't have any. Ours is empty. We have no to-dos, but you can schedule things in there. And then you can click on the actual watch itself, which tells you the battery. And you can see the battery is already there, but it gives me the battery. I can set like ringtones, schedule a quiet mode. I can set the volume of it ringing. So you can set all the watch options on the app. So you have control of them, not him. You can make it auto answer calls so he can't choose to not answer my call. Um, I can set up like some themes. We have a digital theme of camo because he likes that. Um, check for software updates, things like that. You know, normal stuff that you would expect to see. Um, on any kind of device but nothing great just basic features like little you know little features i click the kids section you can see we have hunt's profile here again the battery i can find my watch so we actually use this all the time because he'll like put it down in his room sometimes and fall asleep so you have to be able to find his watch you can set locations alerts like let's say like the kid's not allowed off your property or the kid's only allowed on your street or whatever it happens to be you can set a location alert we haven't done that because he listens to us and he's really good about only going where he's allowed to um so we haven't had to worry about that contacts is going to be you know the people that you've set that he's allowed to talk to and then you have different options like manage devices you can add a child manage devices is just your options again that you know we go through that we've already clicked on so there's multiple ways to get there you know you can and the options are very just basic okay so you can see like that's that's literally the app that's what you see as a parent so the big questions and let me turn this off now because we, I don't need this on anymore. The big things you have questions on as a parent is, does it work? Does it track your kids? So first of all, yes, it does. It is, let's say, 90% accurate. It tells us where Hunt is most of the time. I can see if he's, if he's at the friend's house he was supposed to be at. Every once in a while, it kind of messes up and actually has almost caused an alert and I've had to like press that find kid button a few times because the GPS just messed up. GPS isn't a perfect technology. It's not the watch. It's GPS technology is not always perfect. Um, so you do have to watch out for that. Sometimes press the like find him button a couple times to actually find him. But I will tell you, there's been times where I'm like, I push the button and I'm like, oh, Hunt's like outside to the right of our house. And I look out the window and he's exactly where, it, like it, it's pretty good. The other coolest part about the watch is that I can call him and he'll answer it. Like all he has to do is press a little button on his watch. Like when I call, he press, so he's six. He can use this watch absolutely perfectly. Like it's so easy for a six year old to use. All he does is when he, I go to call, him, he just presses a button or I can make it auto answer if he's too young. And we talk, like we have a conversation, like he talks to us. The other thing is he can call us and it's really easy for him to call us. He just pushes a button on the watch. He's six, he can. He very easily calls me and my wife all the time whenever he needs to talk to us and he can call us. There is a text feature on the watch um, and a voice to text, but he's too young to do that yet. So he can't really, he's like learning to read in school. He's in kindergarten. So he can't really read text and he doesn't really get texting and he hasn't sent any yet either. So maybe an older kid would like that feature. I can't talk to it too much because he just hasn't used it. He, he does, we do the calling. The calling's great. Um, I've heard a lot of parents complain, at least on the reviews on Verizon side, I saw complaints about it like breaking really easily and uh, the the charger breaking. Now, I don't know how you could absolutely, I don't actually know how you'd break the charger. The charger is no different than like, it seems like j the same as like any phone charger I've ever, I mean, it's like one you lay the watch on top of, but like it seems as durable as my Apple Watch charger. Like I have no idea how you would break the charger. So I didn't quite get that in the reviews, anyone that broke the charger, like if they like, they must've literally like slammed it down on the ground. So I didn't get that. Um, the watch face itself is probably pretty fragile. Um, I mean, Hunt's a six-year-old boy that's like climbing trees and playing army and stuff. And he's had the watch now for like two months and it hasn't broken yet. <laughs> so we do have insurance on it, but like I'm hoping that that means it's probably going to last and he takes it in water and stuff and it's, it, it is waterproof. Um, so we haven't tried the ocean yet, but everywhere else has been fine. So it's it seems durable enough like it's pretty good like and it's 
So we like it so far. I'm actually, I'm liking it. He likes the color that I have up on the screen is the color he has. He really likes it. A few of the neighborhood kids also have them. I think for a child his age, it's cost effective enough. I do wish it was a little cheaper. Not the device itself, but the, like the $10 a month plus like 13. I have three kids. So if I wanted to get three watch, we're looking like almost like 40, $50 a month to have this. And that's starting to get like, at what point do I just get him a phone then? Like, so I do wish Verizon would look at the price. And I also wish like Apple would come up with like a kid's watch that competed with this. That was, you know, cool Apple stuff. Because this feels a little like, you know, 2002 Verizon phone-ish, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. Um, it just feels like, you know, before iPhone, like Verizon made their own phones and they just were generic. And that's what the interface feels like and the quality feels like. Um, but Apple would probably make one and make it like $300 because I know you can like add kids to your Apple watch, but I'm not spending $300 on a kid's watch. And it, it, this watch, the operating system is just made for like a six year old, like it literally is. So me and my wife are really happy with it. I have to admit, like I'm happy with the purchase so far. Um, it makes me feel a lot better when Hunt says he's going to a friend's house. Now we watch him go to his friend's house, but like, it's been an hour, is he still, like he's supposed to be at the friend's house, but can I make sure that he is? And maybe people would say that's being a little paranoid, but he's six years old. And while I trust other parents and hope that they make sure he's staying there and when he comes home, we're watching and they're watching, just in case, it's nice to have that tracker on him. Um, so it's pretty cool. And the fact that he can call me and be like, hey, um, you know, blah, blah, blah's mom asked if I could have a slice of pizza or a sandwich or something. Am I allowed to do that? And we can be like, sure, that's fine. But he calls us and asks those questions. So that's really cool. Again, you can track him. You can text him. You can call him. He can call you. Um, you can set all the settings from the app so he doesn't have control of that. Like I can set how loud it is, if it auto answers. I can set boundaries. It is waterproof. I can press like a button and find the watch in the house, like all the basic little things you'd expect. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video and let me know. I can answer the best that I can. Um, but I will tell you, I was happy. I mean, you look at the reviews on Verizon and they're not, it's like oh, three out of five stars, but like, I don't get it. Like I, we're happy with it so far. I guess if you like smashed it and it broke, you wouldn't like it, but like, I don't know watches that don't do that. My, my, I, this watch will bust in half my Apple watch if I slam it somewhere. So like, I do expect a durable watch for children. We did buy like a screen protector for it and the screen protector just fell off in like two days. So that didn't, I do wish Verizon like had something good, like some kind of nice solid screen protector. But yeah, so far, you know, he's doing really well with it. Um, you know, we're now in February, he's had it since about November. So we're in a couple months and we're, we're very happy with it so far. So like it, it's cool. It's not, you know, the GPS is as good as the GPS is, but considering I live somewhere where there's, you can't even Google maps my house, um, we can find where he is and it's nice. It's, that is nice. So anyway, all right. Hope you enjoyed later all.